Hello my friends, as we speak, the song I'm about to play is racing once again to number one. What is it? I can hear you ask. It's this. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her into your heart. Then you can start to make it better, etc. Yeah, it's it's well on its way to number one again. Probably because, well, not probably, definitely because of the English football team. Apparently, all the uh, England fans have started singing "Hey Jude" after the great Jude Bellingham. Assuming you follow England, of course. Um, so I thought, what the hell? I'm, Wednesdays are all about simple songs uh, beautiful songs but simple um, so i thought well i'll do this one so before we go any further click the thumbs up please just to you know the like icon whatever you call it subscribe if you haven't already done so um but more important than that is to download your free paperwork which is going to accompany this particular lesson all right i've mapped out the song completely for you you can't go wrong it's all perfectly done Every chord is above every word, so there's no way you can guess where the chords change because beginners always struggle with that. Even seasoned players struggle with that sometimes. Um, and the shapes that you will play are on these two pages here, one and two. All right, so just download that. Click the blue link below this video uh, and we can get stuck in. All right, so you'll see um, the chords at the top. Each chord that's written down on the, uh, on the layout of the song represents one bar. Now we're going to try and emulate, nice word, don't ask me how to spell it, the way he plays the piano. Now before we start, if an advert comes on, don't run away. This is a song that everybody should know. If ever you're dying at a gig, this is the one that will save you, all right? Particularly, it's just a great song, it's just a great song. So these are the chords we're going to play. We've got a D, we've got an A, we've got an A7th, We've got a G. Now you can play the, I always play my G with the two fingers down here. We've got a D7th. And we've got a G with an F sharp bass, which is, there's your G. We just put this finger from G to there. It's like a, a, a sort of um, halfway house chord. We'll get to that. We've got an E minor, an E minor seventh, and so on. And later on, C add nine. Now we've discussed this before. Uh, there's nothing in this song that is difficult at all. Those chords that I've just shouted out, you'll find them all on pages one and two. There aren't many of them. I've put these in sort of chronological order just to get you going. All right, so you'll see that it says verse. So that's the layout when you sing the verse. Hey Jude, don't make it bad, etc. This bit middle, anytime you feel the pain, hey Jude, etc. Uh, and of course, the most important bit of the song, the bit at the end, are these four wonderful chords that revolve round and round and round and round. D, C add nine, G, D, like this. <laughs> I don't want to sing too much of it because I don't want to get a copyright strike, all right? But um, hopefully we'll get through this without any problem. All right, so you've downloaded your paperwork. You haven't run off when the adverts have come on, which is good. Uh, let's begin. Now, the first thing I want you to get into your head is how we're going to strum this. The piano, when he plays it, because it's a piano song, incidentally, if you want to play it with Paul McCartney in the right key, you will put a capo on at the third fret. This is in the key of F, and no, none of us want to play the F as, the, as our first chord. So what we do as guitar players is we cheat, we'll put a cap on at the third fret, and if you remember your cage system thing that we talked about in one of our masterclass lessons, we play a D shape. Imagine you've got a, a, a thing here. Where are we? There. That's where you get your F from. Only if you want to play with McCartney. I'd suggest you leave the capo off because you won't be able to sing it in the same register as him because Mr. McCartney's got an exceptionally high voice. Right, let's get straight into the track. I want you to strum it like this. Count it in your head. One and two and three and four and all down strokes. We can put little up strokes in later on when it starts to build. But we want to try and get this sort of dum 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 bam bam. And I'm putting the emphasis on the main beat. One and two and three and four and 
one and two and three and four and and on the and after the four i'm going to come off i'm going to hit the strings open i don't care and you should do the same one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one a seventh okay to get the idea one and two and three and four and one now later on we can once we've established that rhythm we can sort of we can put the upstrokes in which gives it an extra kick whilst not changing the rhythm hand watch this watch my hand if you were to turn the sound off there's no change in the, in the direction of the arm it's always the same it's very important you remember that let's begin all right so let's look at our layout our song layout which is page three okay here we are now every chord that you see is one bar what does that mean it means one and two and three and four and and you'll change to the next chord if ever there's a, a bar with two chords in it for example um you know any any uh, and any time you feel the pain hey you see here you've got like a g and then you've got a g with an f sharp bass in it then you've got an e minor and an e minor seventh that's where the bar is split between two chords for example g one and two and three and four and e minor one and two and three and four and okay every other time it's it's one bar on each chord the only other time is where there's a two beat chord which i'll show you later so let's begin i'm not going to sing it too much as i say i don't want to copyright strike so the important thing is the song does not begin on the word hey okay it begins on the word jude so imagine a count one and two and three and hey so it's four that's where the, the, the lyrics are one and two and three hey one and then into the d i think the wrong key hey one and two and three hey d a a seventh and back to D G one and two and three and four D to A to make it D and one and two and three Hey start again Don't be afraid A to go Back to D. The minute letter under your skin, then you begin to make it better. To a D7. Now there's a nice stepping stone that you can do on this D to D7, which I've not included in this little tutorial. Uh, not on paper anyway. I'll tell you what it is. When you go from a D to D seventh, you'll notice on the piano there's a, a really cool chord chain where it goes ding, 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 bam, 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 and you've got this lovely stepping stone down to the to the D seventh. You can do it like this: one and two and three and four and D major seventh by just lying that finger across there and then onto your D seventh. One and two and three and four and one. Time you feel the and then we go into the the, the bit where there's two um, two chords within one bar. Anytime you feel the G. Hey, 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 G. Now you're going to play an F sharp bass. Try not. To, well, don't play the fifth string. How do we do that? We just let this first finger lie across and dampen it off. All right, that's all we're doing. Anytime you feel the pain, pain you refrain E minor. Again, you'll see that it's red, and you've got um, uh, for, on the word refrain. I've broken the word up again to help you. Don't carry on the word carry. There's an E minor seventh. And as you'll notice, as the chord gets longer by name, it gets easier by nature, as in one finger. Now, let me do that from the G. And two and three and four and one and two and three and four and 
So I'll go from that little stepping stone. Every time you feel the pain, hey Jude, refrain, don't carry the on to A seventh, two and three and four to D. Stepping stone again. For well we know that it's a fool who plays in cool by making this world a little colder. Now, when you get to this bit, you've got the little colder one and two and three and four and. Now I put the little stepping stone in there on the and two and na 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 and then to to your uh, D seventh. Now there's only two beats on this. Na na. Let me go over that again. I won't put the stepping stone in on this beat yet. I'll just concentrate on what we are. But from the word uh, world a little cold. one and two and three and four and one and two and that's all you're going to play on that when it says d7 two beats only na, na, to a seventh one and two and three and four and and then when the piano does that little brum bum 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 we need to do something really don't we how do we do that i'll do the a seventh one and two and three and four and think in your head da 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 the first Duh is da. little finger onto the second string at the third fret, which you think is an E7 plus four. I've not put this on paper. A7 plus uh, sus4. Da da. Then take it off. Can you see? Sorry, I'm a bit tight today. I've not. This is a last minute lesson. This I haven't really set up properly for it. Can you see? Hey, and then back into the song. Let me play that middle section again. Uh, so any time you feel the G with the F sharp, E minor, E minor seventh, A seventh, your shoulder, stepping stone to D seventh. Well, you know that it's a F G, G with the F sharp, E minor, E minor seventh, A seventh, one and two and three. And four and one and two and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and three one and two and three and hey and on the fourth beat hey that's where the voice comes in one and two and three and hey June. don't let me down same as the first verse you have found her now only yeah. Stepping stone again. One. And so on. So it does all that. It'll do the middle verse again. So if you look at your thing, every part of the song is on here, okay? So you'll go through verse two, and then it'll come swing all the way around back to verse one again. So let's assume we played the song. We're back up to we've just gone um done that little A7 thing. Hey. Now this is the time you start putting a bit more Don't hold it back Take a sad song and make it better You ready for it? Then you begin to make it better One and two and three and four and one and two and three whole world joins in for this last section which is D C at 9 up to your G this is why it's great to play the C at 9 and then back to D so if we were going to sing that I'll do that uh, uh, to make it better 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 
can't do it. <laughs> runs in and so on how long do we play that last bit for well we it says at the bottom we repeat until the audience has had enough all right and that's hey jude now remember chords are dead simple all right each chord you won't find this in books i've, I've done this myself for you every single shape and that's why I've broken the lyric up a bit to make it a little bit easier so you can see where the chords land. Because books don't show you that. It'll show you one shape at the beginning of the thing, beginning of the line. For example, Hey Jude, everybody that first comes to me for guitar lessons will want us to learn to play Hey Jude. They go, Hey Jude. And immediately it's wrong because they start singing on the word Hey. One, two, three, four. Hey is on four of the silent count, which would have happened before the um, before the song started, and the word Jude is what's on beat one. All right. So, and again, quick reminder: everything that's in red, something is a little bit different. Usually, there's two beats on each of the chords, rather as opposed to the four beats. All right. And the other one you've got to just watch out for, where it says quite clearly there's that D sevens where it says two beats only. All right. And again. The shapes, if you're wondering what the shapes are, you'll find the shapes, all of them, on pages one and two. All right, here. Just, just download. It's all bunched together. You can't go wrong. Learn it. You're going to hear a lot of this song in the next few weeks, particularly if England start doing well. Um, and even if they don't, it's a great song to learn. It was McCartney's birthday yesterday. And he's, he's a genius. I love Paul McCartney. I really, really do. I just wish I had the... Uh, the vocal range that the man's got but i haven't so you'll have to forgive my croakiness i can that's another thing when people try and think they can't sing a song it's usually because they've chosen a song that's not in their vocal register for example i love the beatles so i can sing lennon songs much better than i can sing mccartney songs because he lennon's got a lower voice i can sing boland songs much better than lennon because boland's got an even lower voice so my you know and you have to decide what your vocal range is before you decide what song you're going to learn or if you want to do a particular song like hey jude make sure you sing it in a key that you can that you can sing it in with we don't want to make a fool of ourselves do we hey that would never do there's nothing worse than getting to a part of a song and you think oh shit there's no way i'm going to hit this particular note and um there we are it does happen right thank you very much for those people who've made donations to the channel it's very much appreciated as i always say it pays for the copious amounts of tea and coffee that I drink whilst preparing these things for you. Again, I did this one today. It was a last minute thing. I was listening to the news this morning. They said, hey Jude's on its way back to normal one. And I thought, right, I'm gonna do it. All right, uh, Saturday we'll do some more complicated stuff. We're gonna do a thing called Gymnopody. All right, it's a, uh, where's it go? Um, it's a classic piece. We're doing that one on Saturday, all right. Uh, thanks for your company. I shall see you next time. Enjoy this one, learn it, and don't skip bits. Just get stuck into it. See you next time. Bye-bye.